But in January, fixed income market will be impacted by incoming supply. Governments tend to issue syndicated deals uh, in January. Yeah, that tend to push yields higher and potentially uh, spread wider and curve a little bit steeper as well. So towards the end of the month, we'll have opportunities to uh, cash in on higher yields. Uh, that's very true of the sovereign uh, market in Europe. That's also true of corporate credit. We think that supply will come in uh, in, um, in the first few um, weeks of January, uh, weighing on, on, on spreads so that uh, investors will be able to enter the market at better conditions than in late uh, de December. Uh, emerging markets uh, will do better because there's less supply pressure there, and, but the spreads uh, as we saw in de late December, I quite uh, suppressed at present. So we expect some uh, we widening a spread also during the months of January. In equity markets, um, that I think the outlook for the uh, early part of the year will be relatively good. Um, the, in the first week of January, we'll probably get the signing of the U.S.-China trade deal. And then the market will start refocusing on earnings uh, where we think that the quality profits uh, for Q4 will come in slightly better than the Q2, Q2, Q3 period, which was flattish. So that could push uh, equities markets uh, higher in the U.S., leading to uh, European indices to, to track higher as well. Uh, we've seen some uh, positive flows uh, into equities since uh, September. I think the uh, ample liquidity condition that uh, the Fed and the ECB provide uh, will also uh, continue to um, push equities higher. So that's relatively a buoyant uh, environment for, for equities. So our conclusion for January, we expect a risk on start of year as the US-China trade deal gets signed. That will be accompanied in bond space with well, slightly higher yield and steeper yield curve.